Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I've got this amazing, amazing little multi-effects called the Sonic Cake Matrix Box. I'd like to thank Sonic Cake very much for sending this over for us to have a look at. Now, this is a little tiny multi-effects unit, two switches and an expression pedal, but it packs so much into one tiny weenie little box. So here's my hand. Yeah, it's about the size of my hand. Um, anyway, it sounds amazing. It's got um, 40 or so different guitar amp models built into it. Heaps of IR cabs as well, and you've also got the ability to load in your own IRs if you've got your own that you prefer. It has nine blocks. Count them. You can see them there. Nine blocks. Plus, if you want your EQ behind your modulation, for example, you can just pick it up and move it around. You can swap these into any order you want, which makes life very, very easy with this software. This is the uh, Matrix Box version 1.0.2. This is their um, software that comes, you, you can just download it, it's only a couple of megabytes, and I'm running this on the Mac beautifully at the moment. So, that makes it easier for me to show you things as well. So as if that wasn't enough, it's also got an awesome tuner in it. It's got a looper in it, a full stereo looper. Oh, are you hearing us in full stereo today as well, by the way? <laughs> As you can tell by the reverbs and uh, the delays. Um, it's also got USB audio, so you can use it as an audio interface. Um, you got 99 user presets and 99 factory presets, which I will show you a couple of my favorites towards the end. That is just about it. Across the panel, you've got your guitar in there, you've got your stereo outs. Uh, you've got your USB out, which I said in your power in. USB out can also be used as an audio interface, if I didn't already mention that. Now you've got a headphone out, which is very, very handy if you're in uh, the bedroom, you don't want to wake the baby up. Um, and it's got auxiliary in as well, so you can run stuff, and you can also stream stuff from your phone. So you can actually connect it to uh, like a Bluetooth device, Bluetooth device and just stream music straight from your phone. Your iPad, your Samsung device, iOS device, whatever, whatever you're doing, whatever you're using. So it is incredibly flexible, and I've really been enjoying it. Now... There's two different ways you can run it. If you hold this button in, oh, you can see there, you're running it in preset mode and your switches will just zip through the presets. You can see as I'm changing the presets on the machine here, I'm also changing the presets uh, on the software. It's almost instantaneous. Then if you, uh, so that's preset mode. If you hold the button again, uh, then it becomes what I call stop box mode. <laughs> which just lets you turn things on and off. So there you go. So I've just got this switch to turn my phaser on and off. And I've got the other switch set up to turn on the tube screamer and the delay and the EQ all at the same time to give me a volume boost uh, so for solos. So like this. So there you go, that, there you have it. So I'm just going back into preset mode now. All right, as for the looper, you hold these two buttons in, and then you've got your normal play and record, and then stop and hold to clear, so the, the looper function's actually pretty cool. It does record in, I think it's about 45 seconds in stereo and up to a minute and a half in mono, depending on what you are running. And then you just hold it back in to get back. And then if you just quick tap both buttons together, you get the tuner. The tuner took me a second just to get used to because you can see a little bar there where it says you're out of tune. But as soon as you're in tune, the whole screen explodes into green color. And I thought I wouldn't like that. But I was wrong, I do like it. And I think it makes life nice and easy. <laughs> Now, bass players, I haven't forgotten about you too. There's some uh, bass uh, emulations in here as well as some really cool fuzz effects uh, for bass and EQ cabs and stuff as well, amps and cabs. And acoustic guitar players like myself, there's some really nice acoustic uh, preamps in there as well with FR, FR uh, speaker boxes, or you can just turn the speaker cab off altogether if you want. Um, now, because this is stereo, you actually have the ability to run one channel out with the cab sim on, which you can send to front of house, and you can have send the left channel out, for example, with the cab sim on or off 
Uh, so you can go straight into your guitar amp and just use the effects. You don't have to use the uh, amp and uh, cab sim as well. So you can actually run like front of house and into a guitar amp or into your any monitors, whatever you like, um, at the same time, which is incredibly flexible. Now, the last thing you need to know about this, if you want to put it on a pedal board, it does just run off a standard 9 volt uh, power supply. So you can run it with your one spot or your Strymon Zoomer or whatever you're using, which is fantastic. But it does come in the box with a USB cable and a power supply which is uh, pretty rare these days to actually get a power supply with your pedals. Right, I'm just going to show you some of my favourite presets, and I think hopefully they'll give you a bit of a, um, a mixture of what they do from like full, sort of full-on ambient stuff. So you can hear how lovely and dreamy that is. Now this is a nice matchless uh, preset that I found. Gives you a really nice example of uh, how good the amp modeling is in this thing. You can hear how the amp models sort of really react to uh, the volume of your guitar. Right, I've also marked down number 30 here, I'm not sure why, oh, another ambient one. I've got 38 marked down here. What do I mark that one in for? Oh, because this one sounds like a Marshall. We'll just kick the tube screamer on here as well. Great sounding Marshall amp model there. What else did I have down? 38, uh, number 40, what do I have 40 there? Oh yeah, because this is one of the acoustic sims. Really, really lovely acoustics in there. Right, what was next? 61. What did I write 61 down for? Oh, this one was the octave fuzz. Now, the pitch shifting in this little unit is fascinating. It doesn't glitch out at all. It's fully polyphonic. Um... <laughs> Hopefully it's coming through nice and clearly. I love it that it doesn't uh, glitch out in any way. Super awesome, 63 was the last one I had down, Red Mist. Oh yeah, just to show you some of the weird filtery effects in it. All right, here we go. More pitch shifting and a filtered delay.
sounding glorious in full stereo. Now, as if all of this wasn't enough, as, as if all of this wasn't enough, this thing I'll show you here on the list. See this, this is a huge list of drums. So you can actually go and play along. Which is awesome because what it lets you do is it gives you like something fun to practice with. Um, where are we? Here's some rock. Let's see, I'm, a, I'm an old dad rocker. Let's see what it does. Ah, that doesn't really float my boat. You guys get the idea. Now that also has its own separate volume. The drums also have their own separate volume. So you can access all of those from uh, the front as well, the front panel. Which is pretty awesome. So there you go. That is the Sonic Cake Matri Box. This is a tiny little thing. Again, there's my hand. Yeah. It's about the same size as my 7-inch iPad, believe it or not. It's, it's bloody tiny. It runs on 9 volts. All the ins and outs you can ever want. Full stereo effects. Now, making a whole series of videos of all the different effects on this. You can have a listen to the reverbs, the delays, the modulations. All the little tricks up its sleeve, including pitch shifting and a filter. Um, this thing is just brilliant. Uh, 100... You can make up a hundred things. You can nine blocks, hundred presets you can save. It's got nine blocks. You can just move them around to wherever you want um, and put effects in any order, which make this thing absolutely wonderful. So well done, Sonic Cake. This thing just sounds divine. I've been totally in love with it ever since it arrived in the mail. So um, if you guys are looking for a little compact um, multi-effects unit that you can just muck around with, have fun with, and probably even gig if you can, um, this is the one for you. It, it kicks the shit out of the Zoom MS50G and listen to how quiet it is. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, thank you if you've got this far. Um, hit the uh, like and subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. It all really helps. Leave a comment. It's totally free to you and uh, it really helps us out a lot. So uh, thank you for getting this far. If you got this far, and we'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye.